Everyone's always telling me my content is too localized, too parochial, and to that I say, look at a current affair. Every week they just approach some plumber that snuck three extra zeros into his invoice hoping his customer, a blind disabled pensioner, didn't notice. Mate, a blind disabled pensioner? That's pretty low. Shame we can't say the same about your invoices. And no one has ever, ever, ever criticized or made fun of a current affair. So instead of listening to the comments that are telling me to look outwards and I don't know, dissect what's going on in Ukraine, my content's getting even more local. Sorry, today we're not going to be focusing on Ukraine. Consolation prize, we're looking at another area whose politicians have been fighting off heavy Russian artillery. The electorate of Reed. Reed, home of the Aussie Cossack where the local Liberal councillors and campaigners for the local Liberal MP have called the cops on him three times. So what a fun way to begin my new series, Friendly Geordies Presents the Worst Local MPs in Australia. We'll be dedicating entire videos to how shit certain members of parliament are at representing their local community. Kicking it off is the Mossman Maverick herself, Dr Fiona Martin. You got reason number one why she's a shit local MP right there. She represents the seat of Reed in Parliament, Reed, which is centred around Burwood, Strathfield, Homebush, etc. But before Fiona was Reed's local member, she operated a child psychology clinic in Mossman. Can we just get up a map? Here's where her clinic was, and here's where her electoral office is now. Guess you only have to drive through three or four different electorates to get between the two. Which, you know, to be fair, it could be fine that she's not local. If she's innately qualified to be a member of parliament and she moved to her electorate once she was elected, but Fiona is not a good member of parliament, with every liberal, I don't even need to make videos anymore, just check their how they vote for you page. Fiona Martin has consistently voted against protecting Australian sovereignty and trade agreements, increasing transparency of big business by making information public, federal government action on animal and plant extinctions, considering legislation to create a federal anti-corruption commission, and argue Arguably, even worse than refusing to take action on mass extinctions, she doesn't even live in the electorate. Bet you she wasn't even excited when Eljana opened in Burwood because it's not close enough to her home, which is all the way in East Ride. Fiona couldn't even be bothered to parachute into Reed properly. When she was in the air, she saw a greener pasture and decided to land there instead. So no wonder she votes like a wanker from Mossman and not a battler from Breakfast Point. Yeah, better not me. I the battle these shit zannings to get this shit built. Point is, Angus Young would be ashamed Fiona is representing Burwood from East, right? Maybe she just can't hack the characters of Reed, because as mentioned earlier, there's an ongoing saga that started where Ozzy Cossack, one of her constituents, a resident of Reed, just tried to ask her a question, and in response, her team called the cops on him immediately alleging property damage. Fiona then drove off, probably back to Moshman on the HOWWAY TO HELL! you, give me money on Patreon and come on, come to my live show dates here. If a video has something to do with Burwood, I'm singing ACDC. They just, they rock too hard. Best band ever. Anyway, the day after, Fiona tried to smear Cossack in the papers, with the police alleging that they were investigating the Cossack for intimidation. Jesus, the Liberals hate free speech. I don't agree with the Cossack on everything, and I'm sure there is shit you can run in the papers about him, but f me. He's your constituent. Let him ask you a question. A question that you invited your constituents to ask without the police investigating him for the crime of not being a member of the Liberal Party. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not only not a member of the Liberal Party, I'm not even a member of the UAP anymore. This is truly ridiculous. But it gets even better. After all this happens, Fiona tweets, After being bailed up and harassed in a park earlier this week by a certain citizen journo, his followers have been in touch. Given they don't have the ticket to publicly say what they're saying to me privately, I thought I'd share some of their messages. Which first off, yeah, the messages she got were pretty nasty, but boasting that those people don't have the ticket to say it to you publicly? Fiona, are you insanely vapid or purposefully stupid? Because if I remember correctly, the last time a constituent tried to ask you a question in public, and not even a nasty one at that, you got the entire Burwood cop shop called on him. But it gets even worse. If that's not enough, a few weeks ago, Fiona's campaigners called the cops on the Cossack again, 
And guess who did it this time? Some old guy and a man by the name of Anthony Bazzuni. Bazzuni is a sitting Liberal councillor and he's also the same slime ball that acted as the lawyer for the crooked ex-mayor of Strathfield's business partner when he tried to buy options in property on a street that the council had confidential discussions about rezoning. Fiona Martin gets that guy's tick of approval. The only people left supporting Fiona Martin are the most colourful people in the area, apparently. But again, that's not enough. The Stasi keep coming for him. The Cossack was arrested after trying to attend a Fiona Martin event that he was invited to. If you care about Australia not becoming Saudi Arabia, you gotta vote her out. Even then, Saudi Arabia would probably be better because I'd imagine instead of robo-debt, they have... Hello? Hello? We have determined that you are related to the king. As such, we have placed a $50,000 raise into your bank account. I told you I already have enough state money! If you think there has been a mistake, please press... Yes! Yes, there has been a mistake! Then please, get the f*** out of the country. We only want cousins of the king here, okay? Ah! Can I say we weren't going to cover international politics in this one, eh? What are we talking about again? Oh yeah, that's right. Why should anyone in Reed, no matter their political affiliation, trust Fiona Martin after that? A man wanted you to do the bare basics and engage with him as his local member and the police are now targeting him. That's how little Fiona Martin cares about the people of Reed. Rarely you see people in politics as outwardly solipsistic as Fiona Martin. Watch this video. This is her talking about politics and why it's important. There's nothing about helping people, advancing the nation, protecting freedom even. It's all about how good it is for your f***ing career. The best times in the Young Liberals were definitely at social events. In hindsight, the Young Liberal movement was really important to my career because, you know, sitting here right now as an elected federal member of parliament, I can tell you that I'm sitting amongst some of the old Young Liberals in federal parliament, some of my old friends. I would say to someone who's joining the, thinking about joining the Young Liberals to definitely sign up because it is so helpful in your career. It's not just the Cossack that's had trouble getting through to her though. In the style of my Worst Of series, Worst Cop Shop Still coming by the way, 10 months late but it'll be there, I thought I'd read some of Fiona Martin's Google reviews out. The overwhelming majority of which are negative, obviously. No correspondents at all have tried on several occasions to reach out about an issue involving the cruise ship industry and being our federal member I expected a reply when in need, but nothing. That's what elections are all about, suppose. Missing in action until it comes time to snivel for a vote at election time. Voted strongly against Parliament continuing to meet during the COVID-19 pandemic. Voted strongly against treating the COVID vaccine rollout as a matter of urgency. So Reid has a local member that doesn't live in the electorate, doesn't engage with her electorate, goes as far as to call the cops on actual constituents of the electorate when they try and ask her a question, and only seems to care about her career. They're the only inquiries Fiona is happy to answer, by the way. Maybe she wouldn't have called the cops on Cossack if he asked, Fiona, Fiona Martin, my local member, how good was it being a young liberal for your career? Oh, I bought you this nice car that you're driving away in. Okay, that's good to know. Fiona Martin, ladies and gentlemen. You know what else seems to be good for your career? Being mates with Fiona Martin is just the other day the Australian reported that Fiona Martin's own staff were livid that she hired her old babysitter as a diary manager in her office, a role that can earn you up to 90 grand a year. Well, baby with how she carried on after getting asked a question, it's good she got a babysitter looking after her, cause she's a baby. It's also good because Fiona has pissed off her own staff so much that 15 of them have quit her office since she was elected in 2019. Not only that, senior liberals in her electorate are now refusing to campaign for her. It's actually pretty ridiculous how anyone that's had any interaction with her ends up really, really resenting her or having the cops called on them. For someone with a PhD in psychology, she sure has shithouse interpersonal skills. You don't get it, it's reverse psychology. I mean, liberal members also accused Fiona of lying about living in the electorate. They alleged that Fiona told them that she lived in Rhodes, which is in Reed, when she actually lives in Ride, which is not. Oh, Rhodes, Reed, Ride, who can blame me? All those names sound the same, just like how asking a question can be mistaken for property damage. I mean, my ego's hot property. Did someone say property? Can I buy options in that shit? You take a look at Fiona's website as of writing this video, and it says, Fiona and her family reside in Reed, along with her extended family. If 
if she has the gall to publish such a black and white lie in the second sentence of her bio, how could anyone trust this woman? Seems all the decent liberals have thought the same and have now defected to support the now independent candidate, Natalie Bainey, who really should have been the liberal pre-selection for Reid. From my understanding, she's far more popular amongst the rank and file of the liberal base, but she was stopped from getting pre-selection when Scott Morrison, Yaron Finkelstein, and the former member Craig Laundy decided to parachute Fiona Martin in as a captain's pick. This could be due to allegations first broken by friendly Geordies and then half a year later by The Australian that Scott Morrison's right-hand man and fixer, Yaron Finkelstein, had acted in a very sexually inappropriate manner towards Natalie Bainey when she complained about the pre-selection process to him, or it could be due to other even more sinister reasons. Either way, it's those two pillars again that we've talked about before, but one thing's for sure, whether you're a liberal or not, Fiona Martin does not deserve your vote. Factional demon ScoMo has forced an outsider into your electorate to do his bidding and as a result, Reid has no effective representation on the federal level. I mean, for fuck's sake, Jack Lang used to be your member. Jack Lang. How much lower is Fiona Martin than that? Please share and comment below. Command.